Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well. And welcome on this new live trading video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. I'm sorry, I just had to enter very quickly. I just saw the setup on the AUD USD and I thought, man, what the hell? I just have to enter and I have to make this video. So, um, what we are seeing right now, actually, first of all, let me explain to you that today we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy in this live trading video. And for those who have joined the channel recently, you guys can go to my channel here and please jump to watch this video right here, this one. Forex strategy 20 pips a day. Um, actually, I saw one funny comment from one member. He is asking me to explain the strategy in every single video I upload of live trading because he thought it is not fair for those who have joined the channel recently that they need to understand what I'm doing. So what he said, he said, please explain the strategy first in every single live trading video you are making so we can understand later on what you are doing. Of course, that is nonsense. It's out of question. I will not do it. I have made these videos here. So it is right here. If you want to understand the strategy, please watch this video and then proceed to watch the live trading videos. It's impossible to explain the strategy in every single live trading video. So anyway, AUD USD, as I said, is hitting a previous a resist, uh, sorry, a previous support level, which was also a, so, a strong support level right here. And uh, not to mention, of course, that I am on the four hour chart. And let me just go to the left to find if there was any strong resistance level right here on the very same level where I placed my trade. I I cannot find anything, honestly. I'm just keep scrolling. I cannot find anything. Let me go back to the current trade. And we can see that trade is already running in profit. Now, of course, since I'm aiming 20 pips a day strategy, sorry, since I'm aiming, since I'm aiming 20 pips, let me just now set this one here as my take profit because if I see here that I have placed my trade on a current resistance level that being formed, I should exit my trade at the nearest support or resistance. Now, let me just set my take profit to be at 20 pips only. 22 pips. That is fair. Now, uh, let me be frankly honest with you. That is actually right here is the nearest resistance to my entry. However, I'm aiming only 20 pips a day. So therefore, I'm going to accept this previous resistance right here to be my recognized resistance to be set as the tech profit level. Don't ever get greedy, guys. I don't want you guys to use this strategy to aim or to, to hunt more pips than you should. If you just follow my instructions for one week only, you will be amazed by the profits you are going to make. You should only accept 20 pips a day only and that's it first of all the benefits of just accepting this one trade here first of all number one is you are gonna spend more time with your family you are going to spend less time trading and you are actually gonna spend less time sitting on the front of your computer looking for setups that is what we want we don't want to be uh, like in prison uh, chained to our pcs that is what, what not what we want Number two is you are actually risking less because right now, since I have placed my tech profit to be 20 pips, I'm going to set my stop loss to be 20 pips as well. 20 pips. Perfect. So now the risks are reduced and hopefully the profits are going to be reached. So you are having a 50, 50 to 50 winning ratio every day and the strategy winning ratio itself is very high. So the point is you can finish the day either winning the same amount or losing the same amount. You are not risking wiping your account. The problem with the Forex traders is they are getting so much greedy when they are finding a good strategy. They just want to keep trading more and more and more and more and more and more. They just keep wanting to trade and trade and trade until one trade is failed and all of these profits they have made are gone and therefore they are ending up wiping the account. But if you just accept what, you are, what I'm telling you here, if you follow these instructions, except only doing one trade per day, you will be hopefully in profit. Now, sorry for the long speech. Uh, let me just uh, move on to find any other setup uh, possible that I can enter. Um, let's go to the one hour chart. Actually, 
the euro usd seems a bit interesting we are having right here a previous resistance um let me just tell you guys as we can see the euro usd had a previous resistance right here has been followed by this bearish breakout candle then we look at that the market has already reversed check out this candle not the current candle this one this candle means the market has already reversed let me go to the 15 minute time frame and show it to you it's right here actually you know something uh, this might be still a valid setup because this is the candle here I, I'm gonna place another cell this is the candle I'm talking about we can see that the market has reached this level and reverse and now it's making another attempt on the very same level of the resistance interesting so now I'm on the 15 minute time frame and if I just continue scrolling scrolling to the left I can see that I had here where I entered a strong key support uh, key resistance uh, resistance level which has become later a support level as well it was also of course a strong support in the past therefore this level is actually strong let me just confirm oh my god look at that fantastic it was also a key resistance in the uh, a key support in the past so that is a strong level where we can expect the market to actually reverse of course it's not guaranteed to reverse that's why i'm gonna set um let me go back to the one hour chart and let me just set a take profit of 20 pips like that 20 pips and i'm gonna set the same for the stop loss now the point here is i i need to follow the setup that i am currently on so for example um i have placed my trade right here on the current new resistance and where i can set my take profit level is on the nearest resistance which is right here this was the nearest resistance now luckily for me the distance between this target and the uh, take profit is 20 pips if it was less than that then i cannot set 20 pips as take profit so uh, i have let me just uh, show you the total so right now we are having uh, the AUD USD going in profit, twenty-three dollars, which is actually good. Uh, this one, the euro, the euro dollar, still running in uh, loss. Actually, it's almost uh, gonna be yes. It's all now it's in profit. Fantastic. So just to be more careful about my account, I'm not going to open more than two trades at a time. Let me now pause this video, guys, and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades. And after that, we are gonna open another two trades sorry i had to unpause just to show you another good setup on the usd gpy i placed another trade uh, the usd gpy is running in a very good trade actually as we can see it's very clear we are having right here a support number one and i have placed right here the buy order on support number two uh, this is actually a very good trade let me let me just go to the four hour chart and see it again and that is actually fantastic we can see that this level was very strong also as a support right here and here as well so uh, it's very good level to start buying the usd gpy of course since we are scalping only i'm gonna set my take profit level um let me just uh, be clear with you guys now since I placed my trade right here, where is the nearest support or resistance? You might tell me it's right here, Salah. And this is the nearest resistance. This is the nearest support. Well, you are right and wrong. That is indeed a close support to it. But however, that also considered as a support. Yes, this wick here or this tail is considered as a support. So from my perspective or from my point of view, what I'm seeing right here, is a support level has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle and later on this very same support level has become right here the new resistance this is one of the ways of reading candles one by one so you can understand how these candles are moving and after the bearish reversal or the sorry the bearish breakout candle from this support level the market is going to continue falling down until it hit the next or the ne yes the next key support level which was right here that is considered as a key support level now 
That being said also, let me just set my take profit level, sorry my stop loss to be right here. Also exactly the same as the take profit. Make it equal so it will be more fair for you if in case the trade went in loss your winning uh, and losing ratio here is 50 to 50 so if you are for example if you have lost amount here it will be the same that was that was you were actually aiming in to make profit so uh, we just have to wait this candle to actually reverse and i find it making sense since we sold the AUD USD and the euro USD it makes sense actually to start buying the USD GPY so uh, all in all I think the USD GPY is actually gonna fall it's gonna continue falling all the way to the support however that's not gonna happen right away I believe it's gonna respect this strong key support level and if it doesn't that's normal of course every strategy has a winning ratio so let's wait and see what will gonna happen so until then let me now pause this video I think three trades are enough let me pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these trades. I just wanted to highlight something guys that when you see the trade going, going against you please don't stop analyzing the market. Let me just mark something for you here. Those who are following my channel and they know always what I'm doing without skipping the videos they should know that now is the right time for the market to reverse because we are having right here a bullish breakout candle and as I'm telling you always, the market most likely, if it falls down, it's going to reverse at the, exactly the very same level of the nearest week to this bearish breakout candle. And that is exactly what's happening right now. Actually, to be fair, I'm going to place another buy order exactly here just to prove to you that my theories are actually sometimes working. I notice I said sometimes because I cannot say always that is gonna be not fair at all with you so uh, the stop loss is gonna be exactly same as the previous one with the seven pips of loss and the take profit is gonna be now exactly the same take profit of the first one which is now here 13 pips that's being fair now let's go back to the current trade and see look at that please pay attention how the candle hopefully is gonna reverse exactly from that point look at that the candle is reversing indeed the candle now is being shocked of this level however it's not guaranteed for the candle to fall we always have to prepare that's why I set the stop loss right here so in case this analysis did not work and the pressure from the from the Japanese yen was strong then the USD is gonna continue falling so let's wait and see I just wanted to confirm you or to just to show you that uh, what I'm teaching here is correct look at that the candle is indeed reversing exactly from the level I mentioned so uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this very interesting trade so one second guys I have seen here another trade of the pound USD and on, on the one hour chart we can see exactly here the pound it's perfectly uh, yeah perfect it's now reversing already we are having here a resistance number one and I have simply placed my trade on the resistance number two not to mention of course that this is from my weekly analysis I said that this is the level where we can start shorting the pound USD and I'm gonna set my take profit level to be 20 pips as well please notice something guys uh, I can easily set my take profit to be right here on, or even right here on this support level or even this support level however I set my take profit to be here only because I want to follow my strategy since I since it is a 20 pips a day so let me just uh, let just let let it be let it just be 20 pips as well uh, I'm gonna set my stop loss to be also 20 pips uh, hopefully it's not gonna happen uh, let me just show you something here for the USD GPY actually the candle was reversing perfectly look at that let me go to the one minute time frame the candle is reversing exactly from the point I mentioned it went actually in three pips okay that's fine we can expect right now after the market hit uh, the same level here creating a support number two I think the USD GPY is gonna make the bullish reversal and it's gonna fly all the way up here to the take profit level so the USD GPY is still respecting this level as I mentioned to you before this here 
because this is the nearest wick or yeah the nearest wick to the breakout candle this is exactly where I expected the pound uh, sorry the USDGPY to reverse so currently all of these uh, trades are running in profit except for this first trade of the USDGPY so I'm gonna pay attention right now because I have I have opened five trades which is way too much on this small account um, I'm gonna pay attention and be careful let me now pause this video guys and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these trades so my friends as we can see the pressure from the Japanese yen is as strong as I said therefore it doesn't really seem that the USDGPY is gonna reverse after what happened let me go to the one minute time frame and we can see even the price action on the one minute time frame is confirming us that the pair most likely is gonna continue falling however I'm just gonna wait more time just to be sure uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm gonna drag this line here to the lower level of the support right at the bottom of this uh, tail here and if I see the candle breaking out from this level I'm going to close the trade with the loss yes you can use the one minute time frame why not every time frame is actually very good and um, seeing the price action on the one minute time frame uh, such as a breakout is actually considerable so I think yes most likely we're going to close the trade with the loss uh, unfortunately I have opened two trades that's fine I'm ready for these uh, losses uh, because actually I'm taking full responsibility and I should uh, be aware that if I'm opening another trade I should consider that it might be in loss as well uh, we can see th look at that the pair is still ranging it's still ranging on this uh, previous support level and still the candle did not actually break out from the level that gives a hope that we can expect another reversal so therefore actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna wait and uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you what I'm going to do with the USD GPY okay that's enough I'm gonna close the trade right now with the loss for the USD GPY that is uh, normal of course there is no strategy that works 100% of the time now the right thing to do is just look for another trade where we can actually recover the losses from the USD GPY the other trades are going in profit and to be honest with you frankly speaking I'm happy for what happened uh, I don't want every anyone to think that the strategy never lose or I never show you the losses I'm showing you the live trading as it is uh, I, I'm, I'm sure there are some people thinking that if the uh, video failed I don't post it or I don't show the losses I hide them of course I know this is what's happening uh, some people thinking like that therefore I'm happy because I want everyone to see the reality that Forex can never be profitable all the time the USD, the USD CHF, Euro CHF is actually a big no for me I hate it I don't want to trade the Euro CHF I'm gonna skip on it let me try to find some other setup right now I am on um, the Euro the Euro CAD actually seems very interesting actually I'm gonna place sell order right here yes yes that's a really great setup let me just be sure yes now what we can see on the Euro CHF we need always to check the past just to be sure that our trade is valid so if we look at the left we can see that we had here a strong resistance level we can see that this level was ranging on this resistance level and it was also a strong support in the past and also right here it was a strong resistance so this level is reliable as a support and resistance as well now what's happening right here is uh, we have here a resistance number one and I have simply placed a sell order on the resistance number two fantastic so let me just set my take profit level and I'm gonna make it 20 pips as well I can make it right here actually the take profit level I can make it right here that's not uh, correct because the nearest resistance to my entry is actually right here also I'm aiming only 20 pips and therefore I should not be greedy and I should just accept it uh, if 20 pips so uh, let it be all right so I'm, I'm actually thinking to place another trade here just to recover the losses but I'm not gonna do it we need to recover at least uh, I think around 50 dollars from the loss of the USD GPY so uh, until then 
let me try to find some other setup guys and I'll be back to you later to show you if hopefully we can find something that we can actually rely on to recover the losses alright so actually I need to place another threat to recover the losses and I am really trusting the USDGPY USDGPY is on a very strong resistance level right now not to mention that on the 4 hour chart we can see very very clear resistance number 1 and right now I am on the resistance number 2 the market will definitely fall down definitely the market is gonna fall down and the resistance number 1 is the answer to my questions that if it is valid or not and therefore I'm going to place another trade for the pound USD trust me guys I really really uh, hate doing that however uh, I don't have any, any other options since I'm trading my own money on the live trading live trading video I cannot risk uh, losing money just for the sake of the recording therefore I'm going to, to actually do these live tradings just as I'm doing every day the only difference is I'm recording so this is what I'm doing usually that's how it's being done I just look for a very trusted setup that is obviously gonna work and I think the pound USD is one of them the pound USD will definitely gonna work and by the way let me just tell you something uh, for the sake of this video I set my stop loss on 20 pips however if we look at the left we can see that we are having right here the top of the resistance level therefore if I see the candles actually reaching this level I'm going to increase my stop loss higher than this resistance um, it's a risky way of trading I know however that is uh, forex it's never guaranteed and we always have to prepare for the losses please remember guys no matter how many times you lose in forex you can always recover uh, after several trades it happened to me so many times to be honest with you that yeah almost almost wiping the account for example I went from $800 to 300 or 250 and then after that I stopped trading for the day next day I started the trading again then these $250 I increased it to again 800 and sometimes I was able to reach 1200 1300 dollars so never give up um, no matter how many times you lose you can always recover that is what we are doing as a forex traders if we lose we recover if we if we make profit we keep them so uh, now that's being said uh, uh, five trades opened uh, double trades for the pound USD let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you guys to show you what will gonna happen with all these running trades and very good news thankfully we are recovering a lot of profits are coming right now finally the market is active and it's high in volatility we can see these profits being made fantastic I'm so happy with these profits uh, the USD GPY is reversing exactly as I said look at that so far the first trade making uh, 10 dollars sorry 10 pips of profit the other one making 11 pips fantastic very nice we are right now in 144 pips uh, sorry 144 dollars of profit uh, the Eurocad reversing right now is going in 14 pips of profit as well so as we can see uh, the, the, the losses have been recovered actually I was going to close all of the trades with the $150 of profit we just have to wait more time until the market continue its uh, formation so yeah things are running very well let me now again pause this video to show you finally uh, the final results of how we are going to close all these running trades by the way I don't really have to wait for the market to reach the take profit levels I can just close it with the profit right now look at that $150 I'm gonna accept it I'm gonna close it right now like that so the account now is in $614 fantastic good job so far uh, it was a good morning so now the next session is gonna be actually right now um, I think by af by afternoon right now it's the morning time and by the afternoon I'm gonna make the next session therefore uh, hopefully I will make another video for this week so hopefully we can have two live trading videos okay I'm sorry for this very long video 24 minutes it was so long video for these trades I hope uh, you guys have learned that if in case we made some losses in one trade we always can recover in the next trades you have to find that one very trusted setup and enter um, you can enter multiple trades on it if you really trust it and you have to be uh, responsible and careful and aware about the possibility that this setup might as well 
uh, fail. So in the end, I really hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.